Welcome to July's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is same tree. Given two binary trees, write a function to check if they are the same or not. We're given two root nodes and we want to write a function that's going to figure out if these binary trees are identical or not. It's not necessarily that the trees are pointing to the same nodes, it's that the node values are the same and the structure is the same. The approach that I would think is we could write a typical depth first search method, but input two nodes, one for the left tree and one for the right tree. And what we could do is see if we can traverse through this tree normally with having some sort of condition inside of the function to say, if at any point the node values are not the same, then return a false. And that way we could write a typical depth first search, but return a false if at some point the values are not the same. Okay, so what I would start with is write a helper method, and I'm just calling it depth first search, and we're going to input the p and q, which is the root node for tree p and the root node for tree q. Now, we need our base condition. And what we'll write here is we'll just say if not p and not q, then we can return a true here. And the reason we do that is just like if this was a regular def first search, we'll say if not p, then return, right? And we need some sort of base condition to say, okay, stop the recursion here and if everything is good, then we can just return a true. And this is gonna be the one that we need to do. Otherwise, if p.value does not equal q.value, we return a false. And the reason we do this is we're traversing through our tree, right? Both ones at the same time in the same fashion. And if at any point the values don't equal one another like this, like the structure is the same, but the values are not, we immediately return a false because we know that these trees are not identical. Now, all we do here is we'll just say return that first search for p dot left and q dot left. And we'll have to have an and because in order for these trees to both be identical, it should both, be, both sides should be true p dot right, q dot right. Now, one thing to note though is we actually don't know if the structure of the trees are the same either. So that's a problem because it's totally possible that I will be entering one node on the left side, but on the on the other tree, we'll be inputting nothing. It'll just be a none value. And if that's the case, then this condition will will fail. So we'll have to add one more here to say, okay, if there is a P, so if P and not Q, that's also a false because we've, we're traversing, trying to traverse this, both trees at the same fashion. And if at one point there is a node and there isn't a node, then we know, hey, this, these, tree, these two trees aren't identical. And the same way we can say, or uh, Q and not P. All of these will be ORs. So I'm going to have to do some order operations here and say if any of these three conditions are hit, if P and not Q, or Q and not P, or P.value does not equal Q.value, then we turn a false. Otherwise, we just continue down our uh, traversal. And now all we do is return the depth for search P and Q. Now that should be it. I'm going to, looks like that's going to return a true. Um, maybe we'll test one, adding a tree that's not identical. Oops. And this should return a false. There we go. Let's submit that. And accepted. So not too hard of a problem. The probably trickiest part is getting this condition in here to say if there's a few and not a Q, then that's also a false. We know the structure of the trees aren't the same. Um, otherwise, I think everything else is self-explanatory. I uh, hope that helps. Thank you for watching.
And remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.